So try to remember that the controllers control everything. Yes, even the Christian aspect with the superstars in contemporary Christianity, such as Stephen Curtis Chapman. Let's listen in to this phony story about the so-called loss of his daughter. Gathered to celebrate the life of Maria Chapman, the daughter of Christian music singer Stephen Curtis Chapman. Maria was killed Wednesday when she was hit by a car in the family's driveway. News 2's Todd Dunn was at the memorial. Okay, supposedly the little girl was in the yard and she ran into the driveway because she wanted Will, that is her bigger brother, to put her on the monkey bars. Now that's a clue, monkey bars. They're just monkeying around. Over a thousand people attended the memorial celebration of Maria Chapman at Christ Presbyterian Church on Saturday morning. There are no rules here, so you guys just share your heart. And, uh, Most of the service, which lasted over two hours, included family and friends sharing memories about Maria's life. I'm sorry, y'all. Maria would want us to laugh. She would want yeah. us to laugh. Yeah. Hmm. And, and me. Sure. The loss of a five year old girl, and you're standing in front of the audience. Jovial. Laughing. And look at the young ladies. No shoes on. I guess they were dancing. Grief, and I'm going to really regret this tomorrow when it all comes crashing down. The time included laughter as well as sadness. You know, we prayed for healing from Maria, but uh, he healed her in, in a way that we all didn't like. But he's going to heal my brother in a way that I think we're all going to like a lot. Um. So he doesn't look up, does he? Because he's acting. Look at the snicker over here. Look. Look at the duping delight. Let's take a closer look. There's nothing there. It's all imaginary. Oh, I know. You want to believe. And that's exactly the deception. You want to believe that they're telling you the truth. Stephen Chapman said dealing with the grief and loss of a daughter has not been easy. This is the kind of thing we need to spend our time doing. Just seeing. See, look, no shoes on. So what are they doing? Having a dance party. When a little girl dies, you have a dance party. It's not real. R-E-A-L. It's R-E-E-L. And celebrating the glory of God where it shows up in the pain, in, uh, in the joy that He gives us in this life. And the congregation sang the song Close to Your Heart, which was co-written by Stephen Chapman. The lyrics, she is safe in the arms of Jesus. Aha! Okay, people. What sign are you being given right now? What sign is that? Mm-hmm. What sign are you looking at? That's right, it's the devil's horns. 
because they're liars. There was no death. Nobody died. And there's no real R-E-A-L pain. It's an act to get records sold, to get donations coming in to a phony setup. Wake up. There's more. I'll show you. Summed up the whole service. I'm safe in the arms of Jesus. In Nashville, Todd Dunn, News 2. The family is asking that donations be made to their adoption initiative. Show Donations. Money coming in big time because they got your emotion. Hannah's Hope, which is named for their oldest daughter. Family and friends gather to celebrate the life of Maria Chapman, the daughter of... Okay, there's more. Hold on. Who's behind it? David Letterman. The showboat. Now, does David Letterman have musical ability? Probably. You didn't know that. He doesn't write songs, he just plays them. They're written by a hidden group of people. And Stephen Curtis Chapman has won all, every single award imaginable in contemporary Christian music. Selling up to about 11, 12 million albums. All kinds of awards. He's been in the White House. He's been on big-name television shows, interviews. But it's basically David Letterman. Big money has been made in the contemporary Christian music scene. They want to dominate everything. And I know that because it has the word Christian on it, you probably want to believe that it's somehow exempt. It's not. The controllers control it all. And yes, even these artists like Stephen Curtis Chapman are fake. And notice the ending. Chapman. David Letterman. You've been fooled. I've been fooled. Yes, even the elect can be deceived. Oh, there's lots more on this Stephen Curtis chap man. And right now, I'll, I don't have the time to get too much out to you, but I will get more out to you. And I will show you what a deception this particular individual is in the so-called Christian community that falls for it now, I know there's many sincere people out there with a true faith and a true belief that have fallen for a lot of it. And yes, I've been one of them too. But now that I'm awake, now that I've got discernment, I'm coming out strong to show you even the segment called Christian Contemporary music has been under the domination of these controllers. And you have hoaxers like David Letterman. And that's a picture of him in sort of an older year compared with a younger year 
picture of Stephen Curtis Chapman. And look what do you get? 84%. I picked up on it immediately when I saw him. I wasn't even trying to do anything with Stephen Curtis Chapman. I was working on uh, Bill Gaither. <laughs> And Chapman was his guest on the Gaith Her show. And I said, My gosh, that's David Letterman. Then I did the comparison photos and I found out my initial viewing was correct. David Letterman has been masquerading as Stephen Curtis Chapman, the winner of all kinds of awards. And he floats freely among big names. He was on the Larry King live show. I'll talk about that. Rick Warren in the White House. You name it. News reports. You name it. Stephen Curtis Chapman has been with the big names and the controllers. So I want to thank you for watching and I want to uh, end this video on the positive note that even though there are these deceivers in the world, they cannot deceive God and all must appear before the judgment seat of Christ. Someday they will answer for all their evil deeds. Thank you for watching. And let me just say a note, if this has been a little bit of a shock to you, that's okay. And some people might even get kind of mad at me for doing these types of videos. And that's okay too, because I had an awful hard time with it in my life to realize that the deception level is extremely great in this world today. And once you realize that, you really don't trust any of them in the mass media and in the mass movements for which everybody is suckered into. So let go of it and just realize that the truth that you need is in the Holy Word of God. And I'd like to thank you for watching and feel free to leave a comment. I'll try to get back to you. And even those that disagree, I, I try to leave them up there unless, of course, there's something extremely offensive. But I even try to leave up there the ones who uh, call me nuts or <laughs> they want to condemn me or call me a liar or whatever. I, I try to even leave those up there too so everybody can see things just as they are. And I want you to know whoever you are and you're watching this, I do appreciate your viewership. Thank you.